Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> so today I'm doing uh, something a little different. I'm going to be using this funnel for my pour. And I'm going to try to like make it into a shape. I tried it on a different painting um, off camera. I don't know where I put it. <clears throat> but anyway, it uh, turned out pretty cool. Oh, I scraped it off. Okay, never mind. It turned out pretty cool, but um, I didn't like the colors I used, so... Anyway, that was just an experiment for this piece, which um, is a piece that I'm doing for myself. Because I think it's going to look pretty cool. But I'm using a Artist Laugh Level 1 20 by 20 canvas. And my colors for this is, one moment, I'm using a gray that I just mixed up. This is going to be my background color. So that's a mix of the uh, Artist Lawful Acrylic Black and White. trying to figure out which one I'm actually using. All right. I've got this corally color, which I got rid of the bottle for it. So um, it's actually this brand of paint, Art Minds DIY. And obviously it's not this color. Um, I think it was um, orange fire or something like that um, and then I have a gold magenta color and uh, another one of the DIY colors it's more of a uh, punch color I think it was punch something but of this brand <clears throat> and then I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of my gold, the deco art, 24 karat gold, outdoor living, <clears throat> and then turquoise, Ar artist love turquoise, which is that one. All right, so I'm going to first start off with covering the canvas in gray. So, here we go. I'm going to try not to knock the camera, but no promises. I think that should do it. My fun little tool here. And I was going to do a white background, but I thought that a gray one would uh, just look a little bit better. I'm not entirely sure how well this is going to turn out. Like, it worked for uh, the smaller piece that I did. But I also did a much simpler shape for that, so this might not... Um, Work out like I'm picturing it, but hopefully it does. Okay. Gonna add a little bit more 
on the sides. So again, this is the background color. It should kind of look like ribbons or something around the outside or around the shape for it. So um, I want to make sure that I have good coverage on this canvas because the color is not going to go everywhere. So I guess in a way this is called uh, your negative space or it is negative space, but um, so I want it to be covered like it's, you know, this is the sole way this painting is going to look. There we go. I'll work on the sides when I'm done. You guys don't want me to bore you with that. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to put my colors in this cup. And I might ixnick up colors because I think they might actually be too similar. And I want them to kind of stand out. So we're going to start with this corally color. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Alright, I'm going to add some of the magenta gold mix. I'm going to throw in a little bit of white too. I would use black and I might put in just a tad of black, but um, I don't want it to be too dark. I want it to be light. All right, I'm adding in a light orange. I'm going to throw in a little bit of purple, too. And this is, um, Basics uh, Dioxacene Purple. So we'll use this instead of black, kind of break up the light colors a little bit. And I've used this color combo before, and it looked pretty cool. So, hoping I get the same effect that I'm going for here. Alright, so this is the punch from the DIY. I'm going to throw in a little bit of turquoise now. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need, so we might be doing another one smaller canvas with the remainder of this paint. Alright, so I'm going to do another layer of all the colors. So first the coral. Oh, I forgot gold. Which I really just want this gold because it gives me good cells. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I'm not going to worry about the fact that I missed it the first time. White. I think I'm layering it the same way. I can't remember. Just more of this light orange. Just a tad. And the rest of the punch, it looks like. And turquoise. Okay. 
one. Just trying to make sure I don't want to add anything else into this. in here. So let me turn this back around. Alright, so I wonder if I can kind of make a line of what I'm trying to do. I need to kind of follow a little bit. So see that. Yeah, I really can't. Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of go for it. Maybe I want to use a smaller funnel. I'm just add paint as I go. I think we'll do that. Theoretically, I should be able to control the smaller one a little bit better. Um, I got these off of Amazon. It was a three pack. Third one's around here somewhere. But it had a small, medium, and a large. So, anyway. Without further ado. And I'm not going to tilt this till I'm done hopefully getting my shape. So, when you use the funnel, you want to make sure it's level on the canvas. And then you're just going to pour your paint into the funnel. And then you slowly lift it up. That actually might be good like that. I don't know if I want to... Obviously, I'm going to tilt it a little bit, but I don't know if I want to add any more paint. So let me grab my torch. And we'll torch this real fast. I'll give it a little tilt. Clearly, I did not need as much paint as I thought I did, but hoping this still looks pretty cool. The only reason I'm tilting it is because uh, I want to spread out the paint a little bit. I don't want to like move it too much. But I want to spread it out a little bit. More of that color. Let me get a stick, too. Alright, so I'm going to use this stick to kind of pull that up a little bit. Okay. Alright, and then I'm going to start in here, which if you haven't figured out, it's a unicorn. Um, so... I'm going to start here, and I'm going to kind of pull it out this way, kind of make it look like wisps in the mane. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Because <laughs> it is possible to just kind of make wrong decisions. So the cool thing is it's, it's my piece. I'm not going to, you know, sell it or anything. 
but I'm kind of liking it. I'm gonna torch a little bit more in here, see if I can bring up some more cells or make it kind of blend in a little bit more. I didn't get a lot of that um, peachy color that I was going for. The purple kind of took over here. But I do like it, so let me think. Do I want to finish it up this way? Maybe add a little eyeball. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead. We'll bring it down this way a bit. We'll add a little more. Hopefully we'll get some more of that color I'm going for, or I wanted, anyway. There's some more of that golden, or there's some of that golden there. There we go. Yeah. me spread this out a bit see maybe that looks weird now I think I actually do like this. I'm going to tilt it towards me a little bit, kind of run this um, new line I made off the side a little bit. So it kind of flows like I'm intending it to. And then we might, we might add an eyeball. Or I might just leave it like that. I kind of like it. We might add some like wispy stuff up here coming from its horn. But I do also think I need to play over here a little bit more. There we go. Cool. Okay. Stop messing with that before you don't like it anymore. Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side so I can tip it a little bit. So that one line flows off. I don't want to tip it too high up. So I want that color to just go over the side. Let's do it. Okay, I did it. Cool. All right. Cover these sides up over here. So, I think, I think I'm going to leave it, although I think I kind of messed it up when I tilted it that way. So let me come back, look at it the way it was. Okay. Let's take it back that way, just a little bit.
gonna fill in a little bit with the gray. And this is the cool part about doing a piece for yourself is you don't really care what everyone else thinks about it. It just matters what you think about it. And like normally I do care. I don't care really care what others think about my paintings. Um, I try to make something though that will appeal to everyone when I do a painting. This one I'm just trying to make it appeal to myself. And I'm pretty sure I like it. So that's good enough for me. I kind of want it to, I don't know. The ear thing I did up there, looks kind of weird, but I mean, it works. It's, you know, definitely an abstract piece, which is what it's supposed to be, so. I like it. I think I'm happy with it. I think I'm gonna do a couple little I don't know, flowery things on the sides. Break up the gray a little bit more. See what I did there. <laughs> Make sure we actually like what I did there before I do any more. Because I think I can fix that to look like something else, or I can just swipe it away, get rid of it. So let's see what this is gonna do real fast. Maybe take my stick a little bit. I'll get rid of that. Wispy thing. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I can. I can. I can live with that. I think. I think I'm gonna do another one up in that top corner. So let me adjust that a little bit. And then I'm gonna torch it one real good one more time. Make sure I got all the uh, gray that I want in the right spots. And then, um, yeah, we'll take you down for a close up. So I think it looks pretty cool. Give me a break. All right, so we're gonna do it like. So a little bit smaller. I said one more, and I'd go and I'd be two. <laughs> but in a way, this is also kind of, you know, experimenting, playing around, coming up with other things I can do that, you know, just a little different. Okay. I like it. Need my torch. And there's no silicone in any of these paints. I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but no silicone whatsoever. Um, I have noticed, side comment, um, this DIY paint that I used, I have gotten some pretty good cells out of it. Uh, let me get this in here. This is a painting I did the other day, and the cells on this are pretty much from that peach color 
or that punch color and the uh, coral orange color as well. I also had some of the um, magenta gold mix in here, so that was pretty cool. So anyway, let me make these match my other one. Yeah, the little wispy things. I don't know if you call it psychedelic or no, it's not psychedelic. Maybe trippy. This one's one quartz. These two are right next to each other. We're gonna call them fuzzy bubbles. Alright, so there's that. So I'm going to torch around here one more time, make sure I got all my air bubbles out. See if it's going to change at all. I guess it could, but I'm really kind of hoping it doesn't. So we'll go ahead, we'll take you down for a close-up on this. And I still got more of that paint, so I might make, you know, a smaller painting to kind of go next to this. Or who knows, we might save it and we'll do the butt part of it. I don't know. Anyway, we'll make it a friend, one facing it. That's what we'll do. That'll be fun. Anyway, here we go. We're going to take down, don't mind the shaking for a minute. Alright, so here it is. This is the bottom right hand corner. And see, there's some fun cells in there too. Like if we get in close, where is it? Up over here, there's that nice cell in there. So it's definitely like a cool way to do a painting. The, uh, funnel. Like, look at this. All those weird, fun little cells in there. I think that looks pretty sweet. And I might not like the little wispies I did to it, but it kind of flows with the rest of it. It works, and the only way I can undo it is by covering it up with gray. And yeah, I don't feel like doing that, so we're gonna leave it like this. And yeah remember if you like this video don't forget to press that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time